The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Thursday, February 10, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Memphis Grizzlies vs Detroit Pistons. Against the Clippers, Memphis was led by John Morant, who dropped 30 points, while Jaron Jackson Jr. added 26 points and 11 rebounds. Brandon Clark also chipped in with 18 points, and Kyle Anderson had 11. Don't overthink this, with two teams who have been trending in opposite directions all season. Memphis is the best against the spread team in the NBA at 37-19 overall and 19-8 on the road. The Grizzlies have also covered the spread in six of their last seven games. The Pistons don't have anything to play for at this point and have failed to cover in four of their last five games. The Pistons struggled mightily against the Mavericks on Tuesday as they were outscored in all four quarters, but they did get a good performance from Hamadou Diallo, who scored 18, while Jeremy Grant had 15. Detroit has been led by Grant who's averaging 19.1 ppg, while Cade Cunningham as a rookie is averaging 15.8, and Sadik Bey is chipping in with 15.5 points. Our first betting pick is Memphis Grizzlies minus 9.5. The Detroit Pistons lost their fifth straight game and for the ninth time in 10 the last games on Tuesday, falling 116-86 to the Dallas Mavericks. Hamadou Diallo led the Pistons with 18 points, followed by Jeremy Grant with 15 points and Isaiah Stewart with 14 points. The Pistons now have the worst record. The Pistons are second to last in the NBA, scoring 102.1 ppg, shooting 42% from the floor and 31.8% from three. On defense, Detroit is 25th, allowing 111.9 ppg, and 27th, with opponents shooting 47.3% from the floor and 29th, allowing 37.2% from three. On the season, Memphis is third in the NBA, averaging 113.1 ppg. They are 15th, shooting 45.8% from the floor and 23rd, knocking down 33.9% of their threes. Morant leads the team with 26.5 ppg, 6.8 assists, 5.9 rebounds. Defensively, the Grizzlies are 14th, allowing 108.6 ppg. They are 12th, holding opponents to 45.2% shooting from the floor, and 22nd with the opposition, making 35.8% of its threes. The Grizzlies' most significant player on the injury report is Dillian Brooks, who will not play due to an ankle sprain. Brooks has averaged 18.4 ppg, but has only played in 21 games. Desmond Bain has played in 52 games this season and averages 17.5 ppg, and Jaron Jackson is fourth, averaging 16.8 ppg. Our second betting pick is over the total. Brooklyn Nets vs Washington Wizards. Harden missed his third straight game with left hamstring tightness. Durant remains out with a sprained knee ligament, and Irving is still ineligible to play home games because he isn't vaccinated against the coronavirus. The Nets were considered the favorites to win the East with their big three, but they have lost 10 of 12 since Durant was hurt in the middle of January. Both teams have some serious issues heading into this game, with the Nets dropping nine straight games and the Wizards losing eight of nine. The Nets have unraveled and speculation continues to swirl about whether Harden will be dealt before Thursday's trade deadline. Injury issues have really hurt Brooklyn as Durant remains out, and it's unclear if Harden or Aldridge will take the floor here. Washington clearly misses Beal, and the fact that he is done for the year means that the trade deadline takes on a different meaning for them at this stage. Washington suffered a bad loss at the hands of the jump start heat, falling 121-100 in their last game. Corey Kispert equaled his career high with 20 points for the Wizards, 24-29, who lost for the ninth time in 11 games. They are a season-low five games under .500 after opening 10-3. Our first betting pick is Washington Wizards minus 1.5. On the season, the Wizards are 22nd in the league in scoring offense, with 106.8 points per game. Washington is 20th in rebounding by grabbing 44.1 boards a night, while they stand 17th in assists by dishing out 23.9 dimes a contest. The Wizards are 17th in scoring defense by allowing 109.9 points per game. Bradley Beal leads the team with 23.7 points plus 6.5 assists per game this season. 
Spencer Dinwiddie contributes 12.6 points, 4.7 rebounds and 5.8 assists per game, Montrezl Harrell puts up 14.1 points, plus 6.7 rebounds per game, while Kyle Kuzma kicks in 16.1 points and 8.7 boards per contest. Daniel Gafford, Raul Nito, Thomas Bryant, Riri Hachimura, Contavious Caldwell Pope, 11.3 points, Aaron Holiday, Davis Burtons and Corey Kispert are key pieces of the rotation for coach Wes Unsell Jr. Washington is 12th in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 46.2% from the floor as a team. The Wizards are 30th in threes per game, as they drain 9.9 .9 triples per contest, and they stand 28th in three-point shooting by connecting on 32.2% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Beal is done for the season with a wrist injury that requires surgery, while Gafford, protocols, has been out the last couple of games. Keep an eye out for an update regarding his status. The Nets enter this game 12th in the league in scoring offense, as they average 112.9 points per game on the year. Brooklyn is 12th in the league in rebounding with 45.1 boards per contest and 8th in assists by dishing out 25.3 dimes a night. The Nets are 21st in the league in scoring defense by allowing 111.1 points per contest. Kevin Durant leads the team with 29.3 points plus 7.4 rebounds and 5.8 assists per game. James Harden contributes 22.5 points, 8 rebounds and 10.2 assists a night, while Patty Mills kicks in 13.6 points per contest. LaMarcus Aldridge, 13.4 points, and Joe Harris, 11.3 points, each are solid scoring options as well. The Nets look to get production from Nick Claxton, Blake Griffin, Paul Millsap, Bruce Brown, DeAnder Bembry, Jeevan Carter and James Johnson. Brooklyn is fifth in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 46.8% from the field as a team on the year. The Nets are 23rd in the league in three-point field goals per game, as they drain 11.2 triples per game, while they stand 16th in three-point field goal percentage by hitting 35.2% from beyond the arc. Harris, ankle, underwent arthroscopic surgery and is expected to be out until sometime in February. The team announced last month that they agreed to have Kiri Irving as a part-time player for road games. He has averaged 23.2 points in his 12 games this season. Durant, knee, is expected to be out until late February, while Paul Millsap, personal, is out again here as the team tries to find a trade partner. Harden, hamstring, Claxton, hamstring, and Aldridge, ankle, missed Tuesday's game, so keep an eye out for their statuses here. Our second betting pick is under the total. Miami Heat vs New Orleans Pelicans. This matchup might appear to be lopsided, as the Pelicans recently made a deadline deal. However, New Orleans comes into this game playing some of its best basketball of the season. While Ingram and big man Jonas Valanciunas have stolen most of the headlines in New Orleans, Jones has also flashed potential as a two-way player in his rookie season. Tyler Harrow was out with right knee soreness, but Gabe Vincent and Caleb Martin provided the scoring punch off the bench. The difference was three-pointers. The Heat shot 18 for 32, 56.3%, from long range, while the Wizards were just 7 for 31, 22.6%. The Heat went on a 22-1 run entering the fourth to end the night early. Brandon Ingram scored 26 points, and the New Orleans Pelicans beat the Houston Rockets 110-97 on Tuesday night to extend their winning streak to four games. The Pelicans were playing their first game since agreeing to a trade earlier Tuesday that will bring guard CJ McCollum to New Orleans. While McCollum was not yet available to play, the deal meant New Orleans had to play without prominent regulars Josh Hart and Nikhil Alexander-Walker, who have been dealt with Portland as part of the trade that includes seven players and three draft picks in all. New Orleans is expected to have CJ available for this game. Our first betting pick is New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans stayed hot on Monday night, taking down the Houston Rockets 110-97 behind 26 points from Brandon Ingram. Rookie Herb Jones added a double-double with 10 points and 11 rebounds for the Pelicans, who suddenly find themselves in contention for a postseason spot. The Pelicans were busy reshaping their roster at the trade deadline. New Orleans traded for CJ McCollum in exchange for a package centered around swingman Josh Hart, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and draft capital. Miami pushed its current winning streak to three games, with a 121-100 victory on the road against the Washington Wizards on Monday night. Bam Adebayo finished with 21 points and 7 rebounds, while Jimmy Butler added 19 points for the Heat in the win. With the trade deadline fast approaching, Miami has been relatively quiet. The Heat recently dealt KZ Apollo to the Oklahoma City Thunder for a future second-round pick. While the deal might not seem like much, the deal was actually very creative. According to CBS Sports, the deal gives Miami access to moving its first round in another deal. According to dunksandthrees.com, Miami comes in rank 7th in the NBA, with a plus 4.2 net rating. 
the Heat rank in the top 10 in the league on both ends of the floor. Despite playing with patchwork lineups for most of the season, Miami owns an adjusted 112.3 mark on offense, 8th in the NBA, and an adjusted 108.1 defensive rating, which ranks 6th in the NBA. McCollum brings a much-needed scoring punch to the Pelicans' backcourt and could take over some of the point guard duties in New Orleans after playing out of position in Portland. According to Dunksandthrees.com, the Pelicans rank 24th in the NBA with an adjusted minus 2.5 net rating. New Orleans has posted an adjusted 109.0 mark on offense, 23rd in the league, along with an adjusted 111.5 defensive rating through 54 games, good for 19th in the NBA. Our second betting pick is over the total. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.